just put the saddle on. I haven't asked her to canter, um, but she hasn't done anything for a few days and she's been in the stable now for more than 24 hours, so I think that's quite normal. But the saddle is already covering her shoulder blades and you can see how it kind of gets pushed forward with each stride. There, there's a shove forward so it slips more and more and more. Now I've already put it on fairly firmly but not completely firm and you can see how the saddle is shoving forward, forward, forward. Okay, this is just to demonstrate that now that her head is actually up, my, I could just feel that the saddle is relatively further forward against the shoulder blade. My fingers are just touching the um, caudal edge of the shoulder blade. So when you consider that normally you say that the saddle wants to be about two finger width behind the caudal edge of the shoulder blade, it's actually well on there and that's without a rider. And here also, even without a rider, um, you can see that it seems to be very tight and very much on the shoulder. The edge of the shoulder blade is kind of back here. So it's well, uh, my, my fingers are just hooked behind it. And you can see how tight that is, so it's not surprising that the horse finds it uncomfortable, I think. Um, and you can see here how uh, the saddle has slipped forward because this was kind of not tucked in like that. But the, the girth was more to the middle of this part here, so the saddle has quite significantly slipped forward. So also then it rocks up, it rocked, rocked up on the other side as well. And um, the uh, numna didn't slip, but you can see how the saddle has slipped forward on here. Um, I have just reshuffled the saddle. I took it off completely and put it back on. Um, so I'm just showing where the girth is sitting now. And this is how the numna is sitting. And I'll go on the other side. This side, you can see how the girth is sitting. And uh, where the saddle is in relationship to the numna. And uh, I've put it back a little bit. And it's just about, just about behind the shoulder blade now, or just in line with the shoulder blade. So my fingers are not uh, really totally covered by, by the saddle. On this side also, the saddle is actually n not quite behind the shoulder blade. It's already covering it a bit. So, um, but if I try to put it further back, it kind of it won't stay. So. I'm going to lunch her now, hopefully in a more civilised way than before, and then we'll see how it slips.
this is what I found after a couple of minutes of uh, trot on the right rein on the lunge. Um, this is how much the saddle has slipped forward. And I think on this side it may not have changed quite so much. And we have a look. This is how much it has slipped forward. After five minutes of a bit of trot and canter, I haven't readjusted it since the last filming. I just added the uh, left rein lunging. This is what happened. You can see how everything slipped forward again on the uh, Namna. This is where we are now with the uh, relationship between the front of the saddle and the Namna. This is what happened uh, on this side after left uh, rain, trot and canter. And this is where the numna is in relationship to the saddle. And I'm going to stick my hand under it again as well. And my fingers are on the caudal edge of the shoulder blade now, my fingertips. And when I try to get my hand underneath, she's actually shifting her weight to, I think, reduce the pressure between the saddle and my fingers. So maybe saddlers will think this is all not very scientific, but I thought I would like to demonstrate what the problem is here.